Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakaha Kodash. Double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth, who rule well, teach well, watching over the flock with much diligence. Peace, love, and salutation unto the hopeful elect kings and priests who are out there bringing out this word in sincerity and in truth and hopes of salvation at Yahweh Shai's return. Likewise, Shalom unto the sisters who are out there listening and learning and the little ones who are also in ho hopes of mercy at Yahweh Shai's return. Brother Amawam from the Great Millstone Branch, Los Angeles, and I'm back here through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with another lesson. Uh, today's date is uh, March 8th, 2021, Monday, 1251 uh, p.m. I have another lesson um, I would like to uh, go into uh, this afternoon. Um, the name of this lesson will be called Cleanse by the Word, True Baptism. Okay, true baptism, all right, is not what uh, these uh, Christians are today, so-called Christians that call themselves, you know, the anointed, the followers of the Lord by a way of um, being uh, dumped in uh, some water, you know, some uh, water and, and, and you're held of your sins. Well, the true baptism is, is you cleansing your, your, your inner man by the Holy Spirit, which was given uh, which was given to us, all right, by Yahweh by Shimei which is the which is our which is the earnest of our down payment, the Holy Spirit. So uh, in this video, Lord willingness is uh, edifying. You know, I'm gonna start here in John the first chapter, uh, beginning at the baptism of John. You know, because he did it first by water, but he prophesied of Yahweh Shai that was to come, but he will baptize us with the Holy Spirit. So Lord willingness, this video is edifying unto the elect. Okay, and let's get right into it. So this is John, the first chapter, starting at the 15th verse. It says, John bear witness, Salakia. Let's start at 14. It says, And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth, which is talking about Yahweh Shai, right? Which John bear witness, who was in the truth, which was Yahweh Shai's uh, cousin, six months apart. All right, he ushered in the coming of Yahweh Shai. You can read the full chapter, but I'm getting to the point. All right, continuing on, verse 15, John bare witness of him and cried, saying, This was he of whom I spake, he that cometh after me is before, before me, for he was before me. Right, he was before all existence. Okay, and John prophesied of Yahweh Shai that was to come, and he was going to baptize us with the Holy Spirit. All right, John did it by way of physical cleansing by the water, but the, the, the cleansing that the Holy Spirit was going to do was going to be by the spirit that Yahweh Shai was going to give us once he uh, shed his blood on the cross, man. Okay, this is what John spoke about. Verse 16, in, in, of, his, in of his fullness have all we received in grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, no man have seen the Messiah any time, the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he have declared him. See, the Mo Yahweh Shai have declared, okay, uh, um, um, the, his, his Father, which is our Father, all right, and the things that are to come by his servants, the prophets. Verse 19, and this is the record of John, when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed. I am not the, the, the Christ, meaning the anointed, John was saying. And they asked him, What then? Art thou Elias? And he said, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, Who art thou, that we may give an answer to them that are sent, that, Salakia, that we may give an answer to them that sent us? What sayest thou of thyself? Verse 23, he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord as the prophet has said the prophet Isaiah, right? Because even Isaiah prophesied about uh, John's coming. Isaiah prophesied about the Lord's coming. Or his coming in, in, in during a time when, uh, what is that, Isaiah 63, um, when he uh, went on a podium and began to open up the scriptures. And he, this day is this scripture fulfilled in your eyes. All right. Even, the Lord spoke about the Lord when he was going to come in that time and in this time. Same thing with John. All right. And this is what John was telling to the scribes and Pharisees. Like, look, this, this is me, what Isaiah spoke about. All right? And the prophets. And I'm declaring Yahweh Shai. That's to come. All right? 
And they which were sent were of the Pharisees, and they asked him, and said unto him, Why baptizest thou then, if thou be not that anointed, nor Elias, neither that prophet? John answered them, saying, I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you whom ye know not. He it is who coming after me is before before me, whose shoes latch it, I am not worthy to unloose. These things were done in Beth Bethabria, beyond Jordan, and John, where John was baptizing. The next day John seeth Yahawashai coming unto him, and saith, Behold, the Lamb of the Most High which take away the sin of the world. What world? The world of Israel. All right, the world that have no end. Okay, that's that's the sin that uh, uh, Yahweh Shai was going to take away. That those that were given the law, the nation of Israel. Okay, it says because uh, Yahweh Shai was going to be that sacrificial lamb in the spirit. Okay, this is he of whom I said, after me cometh a man which should be for before me, for he was before me, and I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Before therefore am I come baptizing with water. Here's the point. A little lengthy, but hey, we going. This is how the, uh, this is gonna go. Verse thirty-two. And John bear record, saying, "I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him. And I knew him not, but that he, but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same as he which baptizes with the Holy Spirit. Okay, this is what we're being immersed with now." All right, just in this, the example of being dumped in the water was 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 in rep representation of being and cleaned, being cleansed. But now we're being cleansed spiritually by the Holy Spirit, which is the word of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. It says uh, from the Greek bat G uh, nine zero seven baptizo to to dip repeatedly, to immerse, to submerge a vessel sunk, to cleanse by dipping or submerging to wash. To make clean with water, to wash oneself. Okay, it says. Uh, let's jump down. It says baptism in water, such as John's, is distinguished from baptism with the Holy Spirit. You see, it says those who receive the latter, however, may also be baptized with water. Which there's nothing wrong. I'm not gonna read all this. There's nothing wrong with being baptized, you know, in water. There's no scriptures against that. But true baptism is is uh, immersing yourself with the Holy Scriptures. All right, because uh, the scriptures say, um, um, "Seek, uh, seek you the, uh, the the words of the Lord are um, what is um, his his words are spirit. Seek ye in the book of the Lord and read. Uh, what is that? Um, I think that's John sixty six and sixty three. Matter of fact, let me try to find that real quick. Now that I'm uh, quoting that, it says um, John six and sixty three. It says it is the spirit that quickeneth. You see." The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And that's what we're being quickened by. The Holy Spirit. That's what we're being cleansed by. Okay, now let me get the scripture I intended to get here in Psalms 119. Psalms 111 and 19. Psalms 119, Salakia. <coughs> and 9, Salakia. Psalms 119 and 9, it says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. All right. This is the only way we're going to cleanse ourselves. Okay. By by taking heed unto the word of Yahweh by Shimei All right. This is for the word cleanse. It comes from the word um, Hebrew word Zakah. It says to be clean, be pure, be clear. To be clean, be pure. All right. To be clear, be justified. All right. We want to be justified. But how do we do that? By taking heed unto the word of the Lord. That's how we be clean. Uh, 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 spiritually, physically, uh, not physically, so, uh, so like it's, uh, spiritually, all right, and also physically too, because the law itself teaches you how to be holy, because holy, ho godliness is next to cleanliness, all right, so you got to be clean too, physically, likewise, the law teaches you that, you know, uh, Ephesians 5 and 26, it says, uh, I'm going to start at 25, Ephesians 5 and 25, Hus husbands, Love your wives, even as Yahweh Shai also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. You see, not water physically, it's the water by the word. It says that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. That's how the Lord wants us. We don't, we, the, how, how do you get blemishes and spots? On your shirt, 
is when you when you fall out of the grace of the Lord, man. When you start doing the things that he uh, tells you not to do. That's how you get stains on your white on your shirt, man. All right. You get stained up. OK. And we, we trying to remain holy, being fully immersed with this word. All right. Because once you become baptized and cleansed with this word, that old man is done away with. OK. You don't behave like that old guy. OK. When you're immersed in holiness. OK. This is uh, Hebrews 10 and 22. Let's start at uh, 21. Work in progress. It says, uh, start at 19, Hebrews 10 and 19. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Yahweh Shai, by a new and living way, which he have consecrated for us through the veil that it is to say his flesh, right? When we were put, when he was put on the cross, right? We were made sanctified, all right, uh, by, by Yahweh Shai's blood. And having an high priest over the house of the Most High, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water, which is the word. Okay. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. All those evil thoughts that we used to have, well, we still have them. And we're still fighting those, those foolish thoughts, which are sin. Well, we combat that. By, by by cleaning ourselves, detoxing with the word. Okay? This word is a detoxer, man, of all those demons, man. Get all those inner demons out of you, man. All right? This is how you get them out, that filth. All right? The Lord doesn't, uh, that's not what the Lord wants. Okay? Wisdom shall not dwell in a malicious soul. This is John 15 and 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. See? We, we, we're, we're clean mentally, man, because there's a lot of people out here with defiled minds, man, doing a lot of defiled things before the Heavenly Father and His Son. But the elect, we've been made clean. All right? That's that's the uh, uh, that's those uh, virgins those uh, that had no gall, right? The, the, those that were pure in in the sight of, of Yahweh by Shimei Oshai's sight. Now, are we saying we're going to just be holy, holier than now? No, it's according to the Most High's grace. While we're, uh, he, he, he said his right, their righteousness is of me. Okay. It says, um, for the word clean, uh, G2513, it says clean, pure, physically purified by fire. All right. And that's another scripture I'm going to get, um, of the, another part of baptism, the afflictions. Okay. That's, that's another part of, uh, purifying yourself. All right. Being purified. It says, uh, in a similitude, now I'm going to jump down, down to see ethically, Free from corrupt desire, from sin and guilt, free from free from every admixture of what is false, sincere, genuine, blameless, innocent, unstained with the guilt of anything. You see, and that and that's and that's how we that's how we're uh, that's how we are uh, walking now. Now that we've been made clean with the word, you know, it's a, it's a learning process because the scripture said we're we're reborn. All right, and you look at the process of a child being reborn. He, he, he has to crawl before he walks. He takes stumbles. He falls. All right. But we have the Lord that, that's, that's on our side that's not going to let us slip. This is uh, uh, Proverbs uh, 30 and 5. It says, Every word of the Most High is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. All right. The, mo the word of the Most High is, is, is pure. Every time you every, think, of, think about this, Akian Wakwaf, every time. You you open up the scriptures, you're 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 constantly, uh, repetitively dipping yourself in that water, okay? It's a it's a repetitively thing. It's not it's not you're fully you're immersed in this thing. It's it's covering you, man. The Lord said, um, this word shall be in thy belly as a as a um as as a it shall be in thy belly like um, oh, 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 um, waters of living a uh, word of uh, waters of um, where it's a living water, something to that effect. It loses me. Shall be in thy belly uh, as a uh, water is a living water, something to that effect. Okay? But every word of the Most High is pure. Okay? So let's get this one. This next one in Matthew 5 and 8. Matthew 5 and 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the Most High. You see? That's how we're trying to be, man. Warding, getting all those, those impurity of, out of us. But the Lord purging us from certain things, man. All right. The Lord is, is, is getting those impurities out of us, man. We're being fully immersed physically and mentally hearing this truth, man. All right. But it starts with the inner man before before it uh, expresses out. OK, cleaning up our spirits. 
All right. The Lord searching the intents of our heart by this word, man. This is uh, Titus. Uh, Titus 1 and 15. It says, um, Titus 1 and 15, unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. Why? Because they have rejected this baptism, this true baptism by the word of Most High. Therefore, their minds is all jacked up, condemned, fall, can't think straight. All right. Don't have no discernment of the time that they're in because they're not pure. All right. These are two thirds of the nation of Israel are seed of evildoers, man. Okay, they, their mind is uh, uh, discombobulated off the Babylon juice, man. Straight up, they profess that they know the Most High, but in works they deny Him, being abominable and uh, to end disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. Okay, but see, when you become baptized, you you don't you you're, you don't fulfill none of these things, man. All right, so last one. Here in uh, First Peter's, and I'm gonna end it with this one. First Peter's, First Peter's three and twenty-one. It says, mm, "Let's start at uh, let's start at eighteen. This is First Peter's three and eighteen for the Hamashiach also have once suffered for, so like you're for Hamashiach also have once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might be, bring us to the Most High, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, by which also he, he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, right? We, we were those spirits, spirits that were in prison, right? In these chains of darkness, but the Lord have released us, all right? Which sometime were disobedient, when, when once the long suffering of the Most High waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls, were saved by water, the like figure were unto even baptism, doth also now save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of the most, but the answer of a good conscience toward the Most High by the resurrection of Yahweh Shah Hamasiyak. See, baptism saves us which is being immersed with this word, not putting off the filth of the flesh, meaning we can't take away uh, how, how King David, what he said it best, uh, I was in, in sin, uh, in sin was I uh, fashioned, and do, uh, and it's in Psalms 51, I was conceived, let me see if I can get that real quick, because I'm over here, I'm not, I, I'd rather not, I'd rather not butcher it, and I'd rather just uh, get it right here. This is Psalms 51 and 5. Behold, I was shaping in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Okay? So we were we were shaping in iniquity, man. So we can't put off the filth of this flesh, but we can uh, serve the Most High with a pure conscience. All right? That way our soul all right, uh, may be saved in a time of, uh, of judgment, man. By the resurre resurrection of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, okay, who has gone into heaven and is on the right hand of the Most High, angels and authorities, authorities and powers being made subject unto him. You see? And we have that same power, Lord willing, we have the elect, man. Those names that are written in heaven, uh, okay, uh, there's men on the earth right now, all right, whose names are written in heaven that have the Holy Spirit on them, that are being cleansed, that's being immersed, all right, that, that, that is trying to be... Uh, being just to the best of their ability, man. All right. So uh, I'm gonna conclude the lesson there. Akiyam wa kwa wa supayam kwa hala yahawa ba shimi awa shai ba shimu kakwadash. Double honors into my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace, love, and salutation unto the hopeful elect. Until the next one, I say shalom.